Hello everyone, you are watching Mind Your Choices. So today I brought for you conditional trigonometric identities and you see the question which is different than before. If a plus b plus c is equal to pi, prove that tan a by 2, tan b by 2 plus tan b by 2, tan c by 2 plus tan c by 2, tan a by 2 is equal to 1. We have to prove 1. Condition is given here, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. Let's take a start. Solution here. We have a condition a plus b plus c is equal to pi and you can see that we have to prove a by 2, b by 2, c by 2. If quotient in the form of tan and cot, no need to take LHS, no need to take RHS, just we have to take condition. After that, we have to take, we have to multiply both side by time or if cot, we have to multiply both side by time. Cot. If tan, we have to multiply by tan. If cot, we have to multiply by cot. But here we have a quotient in the form of tan, so we have to take tan both sides. So a plus b is equal to pi minus c. After this, we have to divide both sides by 2 because we have here a by 2, b by 2, other c by 2. So we are dividing by 2. a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus c by 2 and after this we have to take tan both side taking tan both side so tan a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to tan pi by 2 minus c by 2 pi by 2 means 180 by 2 it will be 90 and 90 means we have to change tan tan will change in the form of cot 90 minus c by 2 means first quadrant in first quadrant all positive so we can write here tan a plus b we know the formula of tan a plus b what is the formula of tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b in the place of a here is a by 2 and the place of b here is b by 2 so tan a tan a plus tan b formula tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b 1 minus tan a tan b is equal to 90 means change tan convert in the form of cot 90 minus c by 2 means first quadrant all positive so c by 2 hope you understand up to here after this uh, don't forget to write on r tan a by 2 plus tan b by 2 by 1 minus tan a by 2 tan b by 2 is equal to cot c by 2 convert in the form of tan cot by c by 2 means 1 by tan c by 2 hope you understand up to here and after this we have to cross multiply uh, i'm going to do that side uh, tan a by 2 into tan c by 2 same we have to write here cross multiply tan c by 2 tan a by 2 okay uh, this to multiply tan b by 2 and tan c by 2 so we can write here plus tan b by 2 tan c by 2 is equal to this into 1 so we get here 1 minus tan a by 2 tan b by 2 tan a by 2 tan b by 2 hope you understand up to here and after this we have to arrange like quotient when you take this term to left side this one in the form of negative so it will be positive tan a by 2 tan b by 2 plus tan b by 2 tan c by 2 plus tan c by 2 tan a uh, tan c by 2 tan a by 2 is equal to 1 1 is here so proved so in this step of quotient when quotient in the form of tan and cot no need to take lhs no need to take rhs just we have to take condition and after that if tan we have to take tan both side if cot we have to take cot both side hope you understand this question now next question related with cot uh, keep watching till last now look at next question and the question is if a plus b plus c is equal to pi prove that cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 is equal to cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 cot c by 2 if question in the form of tan and cot we have to take 
given condition a plus b plus c is equal to pi and if tan we have to take tan and if cot we have to take cot no need to take lhs no need to take rhs let's take a start uh, here a plus b plus c is equal to pi and after that a plus b is equal to pi minus c you can see here a by 2 b by 2 so we have to uh, divide both side by 2 so we can write a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to you can write down here directly 90 pi by 2 means 90 or you can write down pi by 2 doesn't matter minus c by 2 after this i told you before also if question in the form of tan we have to take tan both side if question in the form of cot we have to take cot both sides so taking cot both side taking cot both sides now one student will ask if cot is there why we cannot take tan yes you can take tan but you have to convert in the form of cot afterwards so taking cot both sides so we can write here cot a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to cot pi by 2 minus c by 2 now this in the form of cot a plus b and what is the formula of cot a plus b cot a cot b minus 1 cot a plus cot b so we can write here cot a by 2 cot b by 2 minus 1 by cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 is equal to 90 means change cot convert in the form of 10 so we have to write here 10 90 minus c by 2 means first quadrant we are all positive so we can write here 10 c by 2 hope you understand up to here now look at the question there is no 10 it means we have to convert this 10 in the form of cot 10 c by 2 means 1 by cot c by 2 so we have to write here cot a by 2 cot b by 2 minus 1 by cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 is equal to 1 by cot c by 2 convert this 10 in the form of cot and after this what we have to do we have to cross multiply now cross multiply this cot a by 2 cot b by 2 and cot c by 2 minus cot c by 2 into 1 cot c by 2 is equal to this into 1 so we get here cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 now this we have to take in uh, left right hand side so we will get in same pattern like a quotient cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 is equal to cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 plus cot c by 2 now you can see here same thing proved hope you understand uh, this question of trigonometry uh, related with conditional trigonometry identities uh, today's part 5 completed now remaining part 6 and part 7 in part 6 you will get question related with equation equation so you can find out the value of theta how to find out value of theta alpha you will learn how from equation how to find out the value of angles and in part 7 uh, videos are related with height and distance how to find out height uh, between towers how to find out distance between me and you how to find out distance between me and the tower uh, so man and tower is there you you have to find out distance uh, you have to find out uh, elevation angle so these are in part 7 which is very important you will get four marks there and in equation you will get six marks one short question and one long question and from height and distance you will get four marks hope you understand up to here till five thanks for watching till last if you are new on my channel don't go like this please uh, subscribe and like my video and share with your friends Thank you so much. Keep in touch.